642 on this election day, the balance of power in the U.S. Senate could come down to a single race, the race to finish out the term of the late Senator John McCain. So joining us this morning is Senator Martha McSally, who would like two more years to finish out that term. Senator, thank you for being with us this morning. I want to get right to the questions. The polls have had you behind your challenger, Mark Kelly, for much of this race, but we are starting to see those polls tighten up. How are you feeling going into election day? Well, Nick, thanks for having me on. Uh, the only poll that matters is when they count up the ballots tonight. We've been out there fighting for every last vote, and it's been an honor to be Arizona's fighter, to lower taxes, to have a strong economy, to rebuild our military, to secure our border. Uh, and I'm a workhorse. I tied for the most bills signed into law as your senator just in my first year and was the sixth most bipartisan senator. But you know what, Nick, this isn't about me. As you're getting out there and you're getting to the polls today, this is about you. Arizonans is about your future, your family. Our race will decide the Senate majority and the direction of the country. So if you want safety and security for your family, you want economic opportunity as we re rebuild the economy, and you want to protect your fundamental freedoms, that's everything that I put my life on the line for and our fellow veterans out there, then I'm your girl. I'm asking for your vote. I'm standing in the way of the radical left taking over our country, and a vote for my opponent is the 51st vote for everything that they will ram into our lives. And I know we're going to stop that from happening, Arizona, but you got to get out there and vote today and bring your friends and family with you. Senator McSally, I want to ask you about the coronavirus, of course, that's top of mind for so many Arizona families. A lot of people, though, are disappointed in both Democrats and Republicans, the House and the Senate, because you guys weren't able to come up with a deal before the election to get that critical aid to not just Arizona families, but families yeah. across the U.S. So if you are given two more years in the Senate, what are you going to do to make sure that those families who need it the most finally get the help? Well, Nick, it's been a really challenging year with this first in a century pandemic, and I helped craft and pass the CARES Act that saved 85,000 small businesses in Arizona and a million jobs. But the stimulus checks and the extended unemployment. More needs to be done. And I've now voted repeatedly for additional relief. Uh, we had over $250 billion in the Paycheck Protection Program, another round of that for mom and pop shops and small businesses. We got three Democrats to cross over and vote with us. Everybody should agree that these small businesses need more support. So I'm gonna keep pushing to get that across the finish line. We also voted for money for schools. I know it's been a tough year for families and kids and teachers. We've gotta have kids safely able to return to the classroom, but that takes resources and money for childcare. So many lives have been upended parents who can't work from home and if the kids are not in school and they can't afford child care. So I'm going to keep fighting to get that relief out there. I'm tired of the political games that we've seen where unrelated things we're trying to be add on to those bills. Arizonans de deserve additional relief and I'm your fighter for getting that relief out there. But also, look, we want to make sure we don't have national lockdowns. That's what's at stake in this election should the other side win. We need to continue to protect the vulnerable, support our healthcare heroes, but allow people to safely and sensibly provide for their families and allow kids to be able to return to school. That's also what's at stake in this election. Okay, I want to ask you this. The president has criticized the mail-in voting process and his said that he's worried that there's going to be cheating. I want to ask, do you accept the results of the election or will you accept the results of the election regardless of which way it goes? Well, we have a great system here in Arizona uh, and people, if they still have their early ballot, they need to drop it off at a polling place today. If you're an election day voter, then get out there and vote. You can also follow your ballot if you mailed it in or turned it in to make sure your signature was validated and your vote counts. Uh, so we got to make sure we get to the finish line here and everybody has their voice heard. It often takes days to count all of our ballots. Uh, we should observe the process to ensure the integrity of our election for sure. Uh, but I'm out there fighting for every last vote until 7 o'clock tonight. And look, Arizona, this is all about your future. If you want opportunity for you and your family, you want to rebuild the economy and keep taxes low, you want safety and security for your family, support to our law enforcement and border patrol and our military, and you want to preserve our very fundamental freedoms, then I'm your girl, Arizona. I'm asking for your vote. Let's get out there and vote today. Okay, Senator McSally, unfortunately, we are all out of time. Before we let you go, I want to invite you uh, to come back, join us tomorrow, regardless of which way this race goes. If we know the results, of course, we would love to have you back on tomorrow, and we did extend the same to your opponent as well. So if you can, please join us tomorrow. Carve out all some right. time for us, okay? 
All right, we'll see. Everybody get out there and vote. Okay, Senator McSally, we appreciate your time this morning. And again, we extended the same to Mark Kelly to join us tomorrow morning, regardless of which way this race goes. Senator, thank you. Kaylee, we'll send it back to you. Yeah, really interesting race, too. One being watched across this country for sure.